this is my calendar that I got off the internet. I believe it's this isn't the best calendar, but I'm gonna cut around it because uh, I think my husband printed it out um, on a page that was already used. But that's okay, you don't need to be too fancy. So this is my first prep video. Welcome to NaNoWriMo 2015. So what I'm gonna be doing is writing to meet this word goal every day. I won last year. Let me just say that. I won last year. My first time. If you end up clicking on my NaNoWriMo link, you'll see that I've been on the site for a long time, but I've never... It, looked, it looks as though I've never participated. I have tried several times to write a NaNoWriMo novel. I get really excited for it, and then I... Um, my inner critic just, like, kills me. And, uh, but last year I, 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 I did it anyway, and I want to tell you about how I did it. These are the gold stars, which you can get gold stars in other places, I'm sure. But I got it from this kit. Now, I've had this kit for a long time. <laughs> I've had it, and no, it did not help me win. Great cards in it. Great, great book that I've read a couple times. No plot, no problem. Great, great affidavit to sign and you know to photocopy and and then sign in front of people who you are supposedly going to hold yourself accountable to but and calendars and cards and things to just help you get through but honestly none of that worked for me um but i did use the stickers last year i put them on the calendar last year on a calendar i made that i printed out i didn't make it um it worked what I did to win last year is something I hope to accomplish again this year. I'm a pantser, meaning I have no plot, I do not have any characters to develop, I have no creative story. I would actually tell you I'm not writing creatively at all. Um, my genre, if I was to do it, um, if I was to say, I'm gonna say personal. Um, Basically, some people will say, you're just going to be blogging, and yeah, technically, mm -hmm. does that mean I'm not a writer? Uh, I think that, uh, touche, of course I, I'm a writer. Um, this is how I'm going to do it, just like last year, hopefully, but different. I have a hard time getting past the critic and I always want to revise as I go along. I have to in fact. It's like obsessively and it's terrible. It, it, it stops me from writing. NaNoWriMo, you're just supposed to write the words. Don't think about it. Just write and let any crazy thing that you can think of just do it. Put it on the page, on the screen. Let it all out. But I can't. I just can't break through that at this time. And I know I'm still not ready even a year later. I would have hoped that I could have written something creative, but I'm not able to do that for various reasons. Um, so I'm going to go with the story, story I wrote last year, which was 30 Days in Agoraphobia. It was a day-to-day -day account of how my life is like with this severe anxiety that can make it difficult for me to go outside. I do go outside, I have been outside, but I tend to need somebody with me or I go through a lot of anxiety um, anytime I have to, to leave the house. Even when it's things I want to do or have to do or need to do or would love to do. Um, it doesn't matter. It's really difficult. So, and this has been a thing for a long time. It's part of um, a health thing. But I really, I really do um, not want to let it define my life. And yet I'm going to write about it again this year. Uh, the thing is, it's a topic I know about. It's a topic that is a part of everything I do to when I want to try to do more in my day-to-day -day life, it's definitely part of, um, 
it's a part of the challenges I might have. It, it's just, but I don't want to write about it like I, like it's the only thing. It's not the only thing about my life. It's not the only thing that, um, it's not everything, but it, it impacts. Y you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I, it sounds like I'm taking the easy way by blogging, but it's not. I still have to meet that word goal every day. One of the things that really prepped me last year was that for several months prior even to NaNoWriMo, I was using 750words.com. So I would type 750 words every single day and I would meet that challenge. I recommend that for anyone who, who has already done it or has an old account that they can use there or whatever. That was a great way. Again, it was something that I had been signed up for a number of years with and it didn't work for me all the time. But then eventually I did it every day and my writing streak was 184 days before I, or 183, 184, I don't remember, before I broke it. But luckily enough for me, I didn't break it around the time of NaNoWriMo. So I wrote that, but then I, I thought of it this way. Um, your goal every day for NaNoWriMo is 1667, 1,667 words every day. So I would think of my, my ideal was to write, uh, let's say 750 or 800 words in the morning, 800 words at night or 900 words in the morning, 900 words at night. You know what I mean? Something that would equal to about 1,700 words. Write half in the morning, half at night, right? Sounds good. Sounds like a good way to break up the words and be used to the 750 words every day. What ended up happening was that I would leave it to the last minute. Um, it would be around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And not only would I be really close to the midnight deadline of writing uh, for 750 words, because exactly by midnight you're cut off if you didn't meet your word goal, even if you were so close by a certain number of words, you you failed that challenge. You still wrote, but you know what I mean? Uh, but I would do that. I would end up writing near the very end of the day. And I would write, I, I type fast, so I would type my entry then. It might be how I do it again, because honestly, it seems that I write best at night, even though I have the daytime and I have space to time and uh, alone time and space to be able to write. It just doesn't seem to be where my headspace works for writing. It's always at night. So I'm, I'm guessing that's how I'll work again this year. We'll find out because October is when I get back to writing 750 words every day. It does seem though to be close to, you know, in the evening. I'm gonna do that. So what I did last year regarding my inner critic, did I kill the inner critic? Did I, like, could I stop revising? No, even when I'm writing blog posts, I'm sure there are mistakes, but even when I do that, I have to edit it afterward. Now, how could I do NaNoWriMo and be editing 50,000 words? Easy. Treating it just like a blog post, which it was, I know, but still, treating it like that, I would write the words, get them before midnight, and then afterward, I would go through the editing of my blog post one day at a time. I would only edit that day. After I'd posted it, it's after midnight, I have my buzz from finishing my words and from well, I was also vlogging every day last year in November, and I also, um, I don't know, I was doing all the things. So, vlogging every day and writing every day, oh, it was, it felt really good, I have to tell you that. I think I did that October, November, December, but November was definitely pushing it beyond the 750 words every day. It worked for me. I think there were a couple days where, a few days actually, where I didn't have a star in the calendar day, where I couldn't put my gold star because I didn't meet my word count goal for that day. But I would make it up because some days, you know, for anybody who writes, some days you get on that tangent and you write and it is glorious and you write 
way over a thousand words really easy it just comes you know the topic because even when you have a specific topic in mind I mean you know there's multiple topics that can yeah whatever you get going and those days always helped me out so much and I went with it um, I just broke those blog posts up and yeah sometimes the morning or night thing worked for me but again I'm gonna say that I, I noticed a pattern I tended to leave it to the very uh, till later in the evening the gold stars on the calendar worked for me it was really nice to see it on the on the closet door on the wall door poster thing I've got going on and it was motivating earning that gold star uh, it must be the kid in me from elementary school that validation helped uh, posting every day into my journal gold morn g-o-l-d-m-o-u-r-n dot live journal dot com I doubt people read it but well now and then I think I got some comments some you know because uh, there were entries still but that wasn't what was important I had to keep in mind that it wasn't feedback that, I mean it, I love comments but the feedback wasn't what was necessary for NaNoWriMo you're supposed to keep it and write for yourself so if you don't show anybody your NaNoWriMo awesome and probably for the best but for me for this specific thing having it being blog oriented um, meant that I was continuing with my blogging uh, and with my and and it was writing anyway and actually it helped especially at the end because someone gave I think it was song of copper uh, LJ user she suggested something that just put me over the top with my words and helped me finish that novel uh, in a gr good way I, I would say great but it wasn't that fantastic but it worked out so well because sometimes people's interactions are, are extremely helpful their suggestions um, and it helped tie up that specific theme but the thing is I'm so excited because it, it does feel exciting to know that other people are giving this a go at the same time as you um, that there are people at different places in their writing path it's we're all doing this because we want to write we like to write or we feel the need to write or whatever it has to do with writing and that's wonderful <laughs> it's like it's just a good feeling you know and the fact that it doesn't have to be perfect is wonderful as well. I'm going to do another 30 days in agoraphobia. So it's going to be a continuation of last year. What excites me about this is that if I complete another 50,000 words on this subject and I document my every day, uh, that equals over 100,000 words which is about novel length, actual novel length. And I could actually work with something like that with last year and this year. I mean, or maybe I have to do another year of it as well, which you might be like, oh, get more creative. No, I mean, this is something, this is me documenting. It's almost memoir-ish, do you know what I mean? But it's time capsuling one month in my life um, I just think that there's something about it that could work for me. Uh, maybe not yet, and maybe not as the novel that will be my novel uh, for... I, I don't know. There's going to be something to it if I keep up with this. For one thing, it gets over the hurdle of me with all my negativity that says you aren't creative you can't write uh, you want to write poetry you want to write um, plays you want to write stories but you don't have them you can't access them you you can't even blah 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 well you know what I can do I can write a blog post and you know what there there are definitely there we've shown that people can be a blogger and they can be also a published author um, even in main mainstream so that's not my 
goal necessarily. My goal is just to win NaNoWriMo again and write every day. Write every day. So I don't need to think that that way. But at the same time, I think going with the same theme isn't necessarily a wrong thing. Just like I'm sure there are people who wrote last year um, a story. Maybe they're not going... Maybe they are going to revise it. I don't know. They say you're not. You're supposed to write something new. But let's say there's somebody who's written something and they're going to continue writing that story this year. And they waited till November to do it. That's kind of exciting if you want to continue that to make it into um, an actual... Uh, to flesh it out more, not flesh it out more, to continue it, yeah, because maybe you've left it, um, not because it was terrible, but because you need that push, that drive. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that I'm excited about NaNoWriMo, that the vlogs that I'll make on a daily basis, hopefully, or at least a weekly check-in, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'd like to vlog every day in November, but we'll see. But I'd like to think that whatever I end up doing will um, be helpful. Uh, I'll share how it's going for me. Maybe it will be a weekly vlog during NaNoWriMo. I wasn't overwhelmed when I vlogged every day last year. I think what was going on is that I was just able to, since I was on a roll with all my other creative things that I was trying to do, every day, my daily goals as I called them, I think it just made it easier to do more. Um, I hear that applies with exercise, but I don't want to try that yet. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I really, uh, anyway. Uh, so that's all I have to say about that. There's been train whistles all the time that I've been making this vlog. Um, the autumn air is back finally. Yesterday was horrible. It was hot and then it rained and it was humid and then it got a little cooler but it was just ridiculous. But it feels cooler now and I love that. Like I want that autumn season. I love October. October is a great month for me and I love November for um, NaNoWriMo and um, it's just this is my season. I'm excited. I hope that I can uh, connect with other people who are um, writing and interested in this. And for those who don't get out as much as they would like that are like me, I hope that we, we are in contact online. But not to interfere with each other's uh, NaNoWriMo goals, but to actually encourage each other. So I am on Twitter at Goldmorn, G-O-L-D-M-O-U-R-N, and I'll try to participate more with like um, NaNoWriMo related stuff. So I'll do quicker vlogs, I'll do um, hopefully weekly check-ins, but I'd love to vlog every day, just like a daily thing anyway. I really liked what I did last year, but just shorter. And I want to continue to collab with my friend, uh, on our hashtag STTONT channel. So I don't know, I, I'm excited. Let's all be excited together. Um, I can't believe I didn't change up the perspectives at all this whole time. This is Jejun. Jejun is a uh, awesome Jejun Ecorn made by um, Moon Thimble on Etsy. Look for that if you can, cause she, that the creator of this this wonderful creature is awesome. Okay, so gotta go. Uh, 